Yo, what's going on YouTube? It's your boy ACL Official back with another Real vs Fake guide. In today's one, I'm going to be taking a closer look at the Dior So Real sunglasses. I have already put a few tips up on the Instagram page, so if you want to check that out, I'll leave a link in the description. But if you have already seen those posts, don't worry because some of the details I'll be talking about in this video won't be posted to the Instagram account. Last few things before I get started. These types of videos are made to help you with authentication. Maybe you're buying online, maybe you're buying from someone you just don't know that well. Whatever the case may be, you just want to know the difference between real and fake so you're not getting scammed. Secondly, products will definitely vary over time, especially products like the Dior So Real sunglasses that have been around for so long. So while the details I'll show you in this video should apply in most cases, they won't necessarily apply in every single case. Just bear that in mind. But anyway, let's get started on this one. The first detail we're going to be looking at is the bar at the top of the frames. I have the real glasses in hand now and what you'll notice is that compared to the fake which I'm going to show you in a minute, that bar at the top almost looks curved in a way. It's still horizontal but when you compare it to the fake you can just see the difference in the shape of it and then on top of that the finishing on the lens with the fake pair just doesn't look as high quality as it does on the real deal. Now if we flip the glasses over onto their face and look at them from the back there are going to be a few more tells we can use. The main things you want to be paying attention to here are the level of craftsmanship and the overall finishing quality on the glasses. If you notice things like the lens is not fitting the frames properly or there being large gaps in the frames where they shouldn't be, there is a high chance you're dealing with a fake. As you can see on genuine luxury brand glasses you're never really going to be getting huge mistakes like that. Here's a closer look at them from a few different angles just so you can get a better idea of what the differences are. But up next, we're going to be looking at the temple text. This bit's very simple when you're just checking whether the font and the alignment are correct. So looking at the fake one now, you can see it's slanted and the font's not quite right. If we move over to the real one, you can see how the font is supposed to be. And the text has also been aligned better and just looks clearer. Likewise, if we look at the other temple as well, we can see where it says Dior So Real. We have the same issue again on the fake ones with the font not being correct and the general finishing just not looking as good. The Christian Dior initials on the side of the glasses are yet another example of this with the font not being quite right. And generally, it's going to be all those little things that are going to help you identify a fake. That and like I said earlier, just paying attention to the overall quality and craftsmanship that's gone into making the glasses. The only thing I haven't yet mentioned is the packaging and that's because the fake one here replicates a different version to the real one I've got. If you look on screen now, you're going to see that the real ones can come with different types of packaging. And so because they're not the same, it doesn't really make sense to do a direct comparison here. If you do have any questions on the packaging, feel free to email or DM me. But yeah, anyway, that covers everything I wanted to share with you in this video. So hopefully you found some of it useful. 